three pound package of bees. You can see all 10,000 of them in there. So we're getting ready to put them over in the yard where they'll hang out until we um, put them into the hive in just a little bit. So they look pretty happy, huh? Kind of crazy how they just kind of hang there. So. so today, guys, is bee day. And if you were in my class in January of 2020, you may have heard me talk about that I was going to get honeybees because I wanted to have hives for quite some time. So for my birthday this year, my husband got me bees. Nothing says loving like honey, right? So anyway, um, today is April 18th. Today is the day that we went and picked up the bees near Bloomington. Um, we bought what's called a three pound box of bees. So there's about 10,000 bees in there. Um, so this is why I'm dressed in a bee suit, just because I haven't uh, worked with bees before and I don't really want to get stung, okay? So this outfit and um, a lot of our supplies came from my good friend Vicki. So thank you so much, Vicki. I can't wait to share the video with you so that you can see how it turns out too. So um, when I go outside, you'll see that there's a, a hat and a veil on this that I'll have up. So we'll do that out there. Um, also, a few other things. Um, I have gloves. These are quite long. You can see they go over the sleeve so that bees can't get up in here. I'm not sure if I'll use them right away or not. Uh, these guys, the ladies I should say, out in the box, they're pretty docile right now and um, relatively calm, but we'll see once I move them around a little bit if they are still that way. Um, so bees like sweet things, so you're going to see me spraying them down with some sugar syrup. Uh, it's basically like one cup of sugar to one cup of water. They like sugar, of course, with honey and nectar and things like that. So this being sprayed on them will help keep them calm while I'm working with them. You'll also see me using um, a hive tool. So for a beekeeper, uh, you can use this end to like pry up things, move the frames around, things like that. Um, and speaking of frames, in the hive body itself, and I'll explain that once we get out there, but this is what a frame looks like. And I don't know if you can zoom in just a little bit so that you can see, but it looks like honeycomb um, on this, and it's called foundation. So this particular frame came with plastic foundation. So this is a lot more sturdy than if I used regular wax foundation. Some beekeepers don't use foundation at all, they might just put wires across the frame and then have the bees fill in the gaps um, with their honeycomb that way. I wanted to give them a head start. So this is plastic comb that's actually been coated with beeswax to try to get the bees going a little bit faster. Since um, we might be a little bit later in the season than if they were in the south or something like that. So my girls came from Georgia um, yesterday or so. Um, the beekeeper who got them from Bloomington drove down and picked them up. So we're gonna go out and play with some bees. Let's go. A package of three pound bees. Um, you can see that they're all kind of clustered together. That's what a hive, like when they swarm, if you find them in a building or something like that, that's what they look like. So you probably can't tell, um, I don't know if you can zoom in just a little bit, but they're all hanging kind of like vertically right on top of each other. So it's kind of cool. This still has a lot of sugar water in there. Oh, and look, I got a bunch of bees too. So I'm gonna turn this over and set it aside so that I don't hurt any of them, all right? We'll deal with that later. Okay, so can you see inside how the um, worker bees are hanging on the queen? I don't know if you can see that in there or not. But what I'm gonna do
do, I'm going to cut this little piece of plastic and try to get the queen out in the box before I deal with everybody else. Because we want to get her situated and then we'll take care of everyone else, all right? to this box and they both have a cork in it. This end where the white is, this is sugar candy. And so basically what it's doing is it's protecting the queen from the rest of the bees in the hive right now. They don't really know her, she's new. And so if we just put her in the hive, they'd kill her. And we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna take out this little cork here at the bottom. And so the bees that are inside, her attendants are gonna eat out. And the bees that are in the hive are gonna eat through this way and then over that the time that she's in there in the next three or four days her pheromones they're gonna get used to those and then they'll be like okay you're my queen but we're gonna stick her in the hive first all right so the way that we're gonna do that there's different ways that different beekeepers do it um, and I liked how one person used a rubber band I thought it might be
try the dump method today, so we'll see how that works. All right, so I'm going to spray them down again. Because they kind of help, they like it. See, they can come and go. 
I see you next.